Hundreds have joined His Royal Highness the Duke of Gloucester at the National Memorial Arboretum in Staffordshire to pay their respects to those who gave their lives in Britain's conflicts. Representatives from all of the armed forces, as well as civilian organisations, laid wreaths at the event. And even the weather seemed to play its own part in the day, with a break in the rain and high winds for just a few minutes so people could observe a moment's silence. A shaft of sunlight hit the memorial at the allotted hour, a feature specially designed by architects for events like this. There were also readings from members of the armed forces, the clergy and cadets, who today celebrated their 100th anniversary. They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not wear them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. <laughs> It was a great shock when I found out about it, but I am extremely proud to be able to come to the National Arboretum and read in front of so many people. And it means so much to myself and to a lot of other people that are here. In the Army Cadets especially, there is um, a Remembrance Day is one of the main parades that we do. And everybody attends it, everybody finds some time to get out just to come and help. Even if it's raising funds for the Royal British Legion, they actually get out and do it, which is... I think it's really good for the younger generation. Well, I thought it was just so deeply moving. I mean, the weather was really against anything. You would only have trouble concentrating on the rain, but it stopped, and that wonderful moment with the shaft of light, and the architects designed the light to fall on the 11th, right on that wreath in the middle, and that was just so moving. It was hard to keep a tear coming back at that stage. No, I just thought it was very moving, the whole thing. So I think, you know, with Iraq and Afghanistan and young men and women being killed out there, you know, fighting on our behalf, I think there is a level of, of more awareness. Remembrance, you know, as people got old after the Second World War, slightly drifting off, but now I think the country suddenly has realised that actually remembrance is terribly important.